Here's a case where we need to use both energy and momentum conservation in order to solve the problem. Here's a situation. You've got a guy here who's throwing a two kilogram clay ball at a block of wood that's eight kilograms of mass. It hits the block. The two then have speed, which then carries it up along its, its arc to a certain height above it, its lowest point. And the question is, how high should this thing swing up after the collision? And we need to solve this problem in two steps. We've got to decide whether to use energy or momentum conservation here. A lot of people think, well, we could just, we know the initial kinetic energy here, we know the height, or we want to find the height there, we just use energy conservation. One half mv squared equals mgh. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Because here, in the collision, energy leaves this system. I mean, first of all, you would hear it. There would be heat generated, probably molecules broken, bonds broken. So, so energy is not conserved in the system during the collision. And whenever you hear collision, you should always think momentum conservation. So between situation one and two, we want to use momentum conservation. Between situation two and three, here we can use energy conservation because there's no collision between there and there. It's just you, this thing has some speed at the bottom, and then it swings up. So just a pendulum. Let's now solve the problem. So, momentum conservation, initial momentum equals the final momentum. The initial momentum is just the momentum of this guy. This guy's not moving, so he has no momentum. So the initial momentum is just mv, and then I'll put in a zero, you know, just to recognize he's part of the system as well. And then in the, in the final momentum, well that's down here, the two masses have combined. They're now combined into one object, and that's multiplied by what I've called V2, the speed of the combined object after the collision. And now we can solve the problem by plugging in numbers. The mass is 2 kilograms. Speed of this guy is 5 meters per second. And then on the other side, well, 8 plus 2 is 10 kilograms. And we want to find V2 over here. Now, right away, I can divide uh, both sides by 10 kilograms. And if I carry, this cancels, and if I carry out the math, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 divided by 10 is 1. We have, oh, and don't forget the units cancel here. So then we have 1 meter per second is equal to V2. So now we know the speed of the block combined with this blob is one meter per second. I'll put that right here. And now we can use energy conservation to solve for the height that the pendulum swings up to. So the initial energy equals the final energy. Well, the initial, initially, it's at the lowest point down here, but it has some speed. So it has zero potential energy, but it does have kinetic energy. At its highest point, the speed is zero, therefore there's no kinetic energy, but there is potential energy. And now if we just plug in, we have one half m v squared equals one half m, sorry, equals mgh where this m is not the little m, it's the combined mass, which will cancel out anyway, because you have it on both sides. So 1 half v squared is equal to g h. And now we just plug in the numbers. This, as we determined, is 1 meter per second, all of it squared. Over here we have the acceleration of gravity, which is 10 meters per second squared. And then this is the height h. And if we divide both sides, actually first let's multiply it out. So one, one squared is one times a half. So we have 0.5. Notice that the units get squared as well. Meters squared, second squared. 
equals 10 meters per second squared times h. And now we divide both sides by the 10 meters per second squared. Well, this cancels, and then watch the units. The seconds cancel with this guy, they're both in the denominator, and one of these cancels, or that guy cancels with one of those, and then 0.5 divided by 10, well, that's just 0.05, so we have down here 0.05, what's left, meters, equals h, and therefore, we can say that h is equal to 5 centimeters, since there's 100 centimeters in it. And now we know the height that it should swing up to.